Hello everybody, it's the Doctor here with Typical Manga Fan, and this episode of the Typical Manga Review is dedicated to Inside Mari, Chapter 63, Let's Stop Doing This. We come up to... We start off and with... And so we start off yeah. with uh, Mari's... Br- <laughs> we start with Mari's brother, and he's like, uh, he's just saying, hey, new comic book, or issues out, I'm assuming it's a comic book. Yeah, Mari, that's out. on the jump, Look. whatever you have there. And yeah. Ma- Mari's answer is to drool. Oh, she's drooling? Yes. <laughs> oh, she's <laughs> oh. I didn't notice that the first time. Holy shit, she's drooling. That's disturbing. Holy shit. And mom is watching uh. infomercials. Yeah, and she's like staring down the left. Is she, is she just like she's thinking, or what is that? that what? Yeah. Not paying attention to what's what on that TV. That's mean. She's not paying attention to the TV, that's for sure. Yeah. And we shift over to Yori, who's looking at the photo of her and Mari at the amusement park. And she pretty much just gets out of bed, like, goes out. The sis- sister Mari asks if something's happened, if she's okay, and she's just like, yeah, and leaves. <laughs> and she goes to see Sal. Like, really Sal. Like, actually Sal. But he's not home. She go- Where she- is he? Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, she goes to the, g- li- the convenience store, the liquor store, to get something. And, because that's where he usually goes, like, to stop where he- when he was stalking Mari and other things. And he actually does see, she does find these out there behind the counter with the haircut and everything. Did he get the job? Looks like it. He's he's hired. He's behind is the counter. Is that how he did it? I want the job really bad. I, I'm assuming well, that we, we skipped the part of that we actually, actually had to or something. Well, actually, if this is the story he's always going to, then that that actually work out because he he'll know, probably know the owner or the manager or something. Oh, okay. That could work in his favor. I, I'm, I'm just, just, just don't. I'm just glad they didn't stick with the. Okay, I'm just glad they didn't stick with the. Because I really wanted uh, reason. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, like I said, we we see him being subservient to a customer. Anyone who's worked in customer customer service has been there. And <laughs> so, and then after that, like Yori stays behind so he can they can talk during his break. Like you know, he has like um, about half an hour. And he asked for Mari, but it's like. Um, and he actually, she actually explained asked why he got a job. Like, well, before, it's like I thought I was getting nowhere, but then there's this helps wanted sign, and I thought if I worked here, if I saw her, and maybe she'd, Mari would acknowledge me, then maybe I could change too. But um, at this point, Yori talks about how Mari is basically empty. Like, she's empty. Like, the Komori inside of Mari has disappeared, but Mari isn't there either. She won't talk. She won't answer. She just says in bed all day, staring at the ceiling, and it's been days now. And she's just been freaking out. And then now, if you change too, what'll happen to that, Kamori? What should I do? And she just starts crying. And it's at this point, Isao says what we've all been thinking, which is scary in itself, but there you are. Like, it's like, look, let's stop doing this. This me inside of Mari stuff. It's all a lie, isn't it? It's, it's really oh. awesome that the one who actually. Dis- oh, the one who destroys the delusion. Is uh is the real Kamori the real Asal, right? Yep. I was like, uh, it's it's um, it's one step away from actually and confirming so, her theory. I mean, like they yeah. he's all but outright said it, which may come next chapter. Yeah, I mean, and the thing what I like about it is that the fact that he's changing and the fact that Mari's or uh, Asal personality has disappeared is that the that Asal in the truest sense of who he was and who he is is gone, like. You know, the, the, the guy who is sitting there wasting his way, his parents' money, playing video games all day, uh, he's gone. Like, this is a productive member of society, and then the one that she... So the one, the one that the Mari that... Oh, well, not the Mari. The Isao that Yori knew in either the real or fake one is gone. And so she's feeling like she's lost a friend, basically. Which is not untrue, in a way. Because, if, you know, at, at the very least, there was some type of source where she could... Yeah. Which is which is a source which is like you know well, maybe the real Sal can have something where um you know can have give me advice well, well no he's not there anymore this is some new guy you know and I, I remember talking about this a while a long time ago uh, where I said that maybe Mari's personality would be destroyed if she saw the the, the, the real Sal all changing because that's like the body saying well I wanted him to be I wanted myself to be just like him if he's changing then maybe I shouldn't be either of course this is not exactly how it went but it's similar enough where I can say that I can, at least had a, a Kind of an uh, inkling some, in the right path. Framework, yeah. you know, of, of what's going on. Yeah, I was in the right path somewhere. So, uh, I'm I'm very happy with what's happening. I, it, there's there's this is the big moment in my opinion. This is at least for Yuri. It's the big moment. Uh, I didn't really 
he noticed Mari drooling there, but okay. Um, so yeah, she yeah, has a, I mean, she has a moment too. Yeah, <laughs> uh, Mari's drooling, Yori's crying, and Isao is just like being sensible. Done, done. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I mean, is there anything else you want to add? Like I said, it's not a gigantic amount on this chapter, but there, it, well, there is a gigantic amount in the sense of like we're finally on the verge of seeing our big reveal like confirmed. Like our our big theory, yeah. like this whole time is pretty much like what we long suspected. Like what a lot of people I think have long suspected of being almost confirmed. So we'll just have to see how that goes here. But I, yeah, I, I actually I anticipate Yuri like going through the denial phase here, like steadfastly denying it, even though it is the most yeah. logical thing. That or he still thinks that they actually are yeah. lying. Well, she, she, um, I don't. She. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, I. I it's, Sure, like Sal might think they're all lying, or uh, because he said let's stop doing this. But I don't know if he's saying if he's trying to do it and saying that I think you're lying, or he's just saying, look, I think you're lying to yourself. Um, so it's, it could be either one. Um, I, I will say though that that um, you know, um, yeah, it seems like a lot. This is going to be changing a big change into what's coming next. Uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, let's see. Um, uh, I was about to say something else. Uh, but um, lost your yeah, I mean, I, well, Yori. <laughs> yeah, I kind of did. I was about to say something, but uh, I, I just will say that I think Yori, yeah, Yori, Yori will have to come to terms with the fact that maybe the one she knew was just simply another version of Mari. And I don't know how she's gonna react. I don't know if she's gonna react if, in the sense that she, the, the person she had fell in love with was a lie. Is she gonna say that? Oh, well, my that means my illusion of what, what uh, a delusion, is a better word, mm-hmm. delusion of what Mari was. Uh, is is actually a lie too because that that personality that person created this Makamori person you know so yeah there, there, there's a there, there's many ways she could take it wrong that's the thing there's, there's many ways that's that just just by her taking it wrong that, could, that may pass that's what I expect to see happen here to be honest yeah um the drooling is also big I mean, it's not really but <laughs> I just I just like <laughs> it's just so disturbing um but uh yeah uh let's see what else um. Mm, no, no, I think that's about it. I mean, yeah. it does follow the whole. Remember, I said before, like a, a lot of this, not much is happening, but yet everything's happening. So yeah, that's how a difficult chapter with Mari goes. Like they managed to save the big mind blowing thing for the last page, but it's legitimately mind blowing most of the time, or at least enough to make you think. Yeah, and it it satisfies you. Yeah, it, yeah, it, it definitely satisfies you. Um, and the thing is, oh, I, was about, I remember what I was about to say. I was saying that. that one of the reasons why I believe that there was never a mind transfer was because there's nothing supernatural so far in this manga. So why should so, so why should we believe that there's something you know that one mind switch happened? Where it was it's more reason it's more reasonable to assume that it, it was actually of a psychological uh, thing going on here rather than yeah. a supernatural thing, right? So yeah, that, 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 like I said, I think you mentioned before like the other person's work did not have any um, supernatural stuff in it, so that's kind of changing now with happiness. Like that one does yeah, have but we can, yeah, we can forget about that. <laughs> yeah. But like, like I said, that is pretty much where I, like I said, I, I, I imagine that at least next chapter might be her taking it badly, at least at first. I don't know if it'll stay that way for very long, though. But meantime, we'll see about that in a few weeks' time, depending on how it's affected by the Christmas break. Meantime, that's been uh, our review of Inside Mari, Chapter 63. Let's, what was it called here again? Let's stop doing this. Go ahead and take us away. <laughs> Bye. And when I say let's stop doing this, I mean the title, not the let's stop doing this. But yeah, we're going to stop doing this now.